Hey. 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 Howdy, everybody. Hello. You all at the uh, panel? Yes. yes. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. A mess. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. The people told us all kinds of secrets. They said you would to share to verify them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cagey. Not buying it. Yeah. You know, it just in line with just the emotionality of the panel and the end of the season. It, we were talking at lunch that, and I don't know if you, how many of you see, have seen a supernatural script, but the uh, the last page of the, of every supernatural script for now 14 plus seasons, the last thing it says on the page is to be continued. Dot dot dot. And uh, I turned to Andrew. I said, "You realize you're going to write this episode, and it's going to be the first supernatural script ever that says the end." And we all just sort of sat there for a minute. Ago. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's odd. With God as the ultimate bad guy now, um, in seasons you know, 11, 12, and there, where he talked about he wanted to sacrifice himself in order to save humanity and save his creation, and if he died, the sun died, the earth died, everything died. How can they possibly defeat him with those kinds of consequences laid out in canon? They're going to have to be quite clever. Uh, Yes, and, that, and we we bring that up. We don't want to walk that back at all. We have to. Work, that's a workaround that has to be found. If if he is to be defeated, or if he is defeated, um, I know there are certain goals and you know, stopping him. But uh, you know, when he said all of that, a lot of the stuff that he said about protecting mankind and doing all this stuff, it's a tremendous period of adjustment for everybody to kind of realize that they've been set up. That, that, you know, a lot of this was was not straight up. And Sam and Dean, and I think I touched on this in the panel, Sam and Dean were willing to accept a new perception of God as not the person who was always involved and always watching out for you and on your side, but somebody who was a step removed and kind of from the back seat and would step in and in case of emergency. And now they find out that that thing that they clung to all these years, that wasn't the case. So there's a real period of adjustment, and, and that doesn't even take into account Castiel, who was a good soldier for thousands and thousands of years, and always buying the party line, and then he finds out the party line was not true. So we, we devote chunks of the first number of episodes to everybody kind of readjusting to a new reality. And because uh, we don't want to pull the rug out and just go on about our business, because this is a huge thing. When your belief systems, the things that got you through the day, are messed with, you know, it, it's tough. My question is uh, as the show's gone on, this show's gone on for so long, obviously. Yeah. How does it become harder or easier to sustain it? Because you have to come up with new things and keep it moving, keep the engine going. You know, intellectually, you would think it has to be harder to sustain, and interestingly, it hasn't. Uh, because, you know, and, and sometimes it succeeds better than it doesn't, obviously. You guys will be the first to tell us. But uh, it, it, it just does, because then you just when you think you've, you've done your last werewolf, then somebody comes up with a sudden twist, sometimes by accident, and you're off into a whole new thing. It's like uh, when we did the episode where um, Lucifer was possessing the, the president, and he was having sex with his mistress, and she got pregnant. And then, you know, we thought, well, that's going to be a one-time thing. And then, but what if she chooses to keep the baby? Okay. And then what does that turn into? Whoa, that would be the most powerful Nephilim ever. So then that just suddenly, you know, a story was born, So, uh, and, which survives now. So you do stumble upon these things sometimes that just keep you going. Is there room in this final season for episodes, special episodes that are slightly out of the norm, or are you just powering towards the finale at this point? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we've got such a big stake thing. We've got so much to deal with and kind of wrap up individual characters and threads that probably the big meta fun episode, the Scooby Natural episode, probably is not going to be part of the season. Um, but you never know. I know a lot of times those episodes are this mid-season finale, and I know for sure that it's not. But that's not to say that it can't happen. It's just right now we are we feel kind of jam packed. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to have a chance to uh, revisit some of the major arcs in the past? Um, I mean, looking at that season reel today yeah. reminded me of so many oh. great stories, yeah. and so many saved lives. 
are we going to be? You will be reminded because a lot of those characters are going to be, if, if there's a good reason to do it, yeah. a lot of those characters that seem beyond resurrecting uh, may put in an appearance if they serve the story and have a really good reason to exist, if they touch the Winchesters emotionally, we're part of their lives and it makes sense to do that. Because I think part of the obligation of this season we, we feel really strongly is to honor the past of the show because it was a great foundation that Eric laid and all that stuff that came before, not just move beyond that, but to honor it if it makes sense. But but do it in ways that feel fresh. So it doesn't feel like a bunch of people walking in and making cameos, but actually serve the story and do something you haven't seen them do before. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank nice you. Have a good Enjoy the rest of it. Yeah.